现在在这边的动物园 ，zoom， 然后来看一下这边的一些动物，就是他们国家的这边的动物。这让我感觉挺喜欢那个蛇的，我觉得，大家觉得大家都觉得它挺可怕的，哎，我觉得没有，我没有害怕。Thank you. You're very welcome. We're at the Eagles training facility. It's the night before weigh-ins. I had the press conference earlier. Yeah, a bit of back and forth, a bit of bad blood there, of course. Something of this magnitude in these circumstances is going to get a bit uh, heated. I think any time Izzy speaks, you know, very emotionally, um, does some of his best work. <laughs> Hi, about 12 hours out from weigh-in, so we're just starting the wake-up process. Israel's been super disciplined, super professional as always. You're going to see a bigger, better, faster, stronger version of Israel on Sunday. What we're doing is we're just slowly bringing their core body temperature up to just start sweating, move around, nothing strenuous, keep the heart rate low, nice easy workout. And then we're going to just do some short, sharp rounds in the sauna, keep the sweat going, and the boys will be on weight. What we're measuring is their core body temperature. The whole point of them going in there is to raise the core body temperature. Because when you get hot, that's when you start sweating. Your body wants to get rid of that heat. So a lot of mistakes that fighters make is they go in a sauna that's really hot, which that is, and they stay in there. And so they'll sweat, but then they overheat. And in weight cutting, the dehydration isn't necessarily the problem. Your body can withstand being very dehydrated. It's the overheating that's really dangerous. So if you've got no way to measure how overheated they are, you don't know how to keep them safe. So all about body temp, not so much about time and cooking the guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here for the official weigh-in for UFC 305, Duplessis versus Adesanya. And we begin with one of the gentlemen around whom this fight card was built one half of the flyweight co-main event, former interim title challenger, Kai Kata France. One twenty-five, the official weight for the number four ranked contender, Kai Kata France. All right, next fighter to weigh in, Perth, Western Australia's own recent flyweight title challenger, Steve Astro Boy Ursay. One twenty-five and a half, the official weight for Steve Ursay, and with that, your co-main event is now official. All right, next man to weigh in this morning, the former undisputed two-time UFC middleweight champion, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. 184. 184, the official weight for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And his opponent is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Adrikis Still Knox Duplessis. Bring him up. We got him. Let's go. 185, the official weight for Drikus Duplessis, and with that, your championship main event for UFC 305 is official. 85, on the money, on the money, Dennis. Thank you. How's it feel to get Sorry for cursing, but that was amazing. Ooh, what a good cut. One more sleep, let's go. And with much fanfare, the Octagon returns to the MMA hotbed that is Perth, Western Australia. And now we proceed with the ceremonial weigh-in for UFC 305. This is the final one, the final one before we go. You know, actually be great. Ah, this is gets me fired up. What's going on, Perth WA? Great to be back here in Western Australia. Thank y'all for coming out to the official weigh-in for UFC 305, Duplessis versus Adesanya. First athlete out, you know who it is, representing Perth, WA Astro Boy, C. Mercer. One 
125 and a half, the official weight for Steve Ursay. And his opponent, the number four ranked UFC flyweight contender, Kai Katafrance. Official weight 125 and a half for the Kiwi, Kai Katafrance. Undisputed middleweight title, first athlete to the stage, future Hall of Famer, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Official weight 184 for the last style bender. And his opponent, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Drinkus, still knocks Duplessis. 185, the official weight for the champion.